If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! Hello, space fans! In today's video, we're going to paint on these large wooden craft planets. And we're also going to learn facts about the sun and the nine planets. So first, we'll go over the order of our solar system. First is the sun. Then the first official planet is Mercury. The second planet is Venus. Third is Earth. Fourth is Mars. Fifth is Jupiter. Sixth is Saturn. Seventh is Uranus. And the eighth planet is Neptune. So we'll go ahead and paint these and go over facts about each one. So first, we're going to paint the sun. Our sun, like all suns, are stars. Our sun is a yellow dwarf star. The sun spins on its axis approximately every 27 days. And the sun does actually orbit something, the Milky Way. The sun's journey around the Milky Way takes approximately 230 million years. The temperature at the surface of the sun is about 5,600 Celsius. However, the core can reach a scorching 15 million Celsius. And here is our finished sun. Next, we have our first planet, Mercury. So we'll go ahead and paint Mercury. Mercury has a rotation of approximately 59 Earth days and it takes Mercury 88 days to go around the Sun one time. The temperature on Mercury can vary greatly. It can be up to 430 Celsius in the daytime to a freezing minus 180 Celsius at night, mostly due to its lack of atmosphere. Mercury has no moons. This is thought to be because it is too close to the sun, for any potential moons would be dragged in to the sun's fierce gravitational pull. And that is our finished Mercury. So the next planet we're going to paint is Venus, and it is the second planet in our solar system. One day on Venus is 243 Earth days and it takes 225 days to go around the sun once, meaning its year is longer than its day. The temperature on Venus is an average of 464 Celsius. That's the hottest in our solar system. This is because it has a very thick atmosphere. Venus also has no moons. However, it was thought to have a moon millions of years ago, but it is believed to have crashed into Venus. Venus also spins backwards in comparison to the other planets and is the closest to Earth in distance and size. So here is our finished Venus. The next planet we're going to paint is Earth. Earth is the third planet in the solar system and the planet we all live on and the only planet we know to have organic life. It is a terrestrial planet like Mercury and Venus, but it is mostly covered in water. It takes 24 hours to rotate on its axis once, which we call one day, and it takes 365 days to go around the sun one time, which we call one year. The Earth has an average temperature of 15 Celsius, however it has been low as minus 89.2 in Antarctica, which was recorded in 1983 and as hot as 56.7 Celsius in California, which was recorded in 1913. Earth also has one moon. So here is our finished Earth. The next planet we're painting is Mars, and it is the fourth planet in our solar system, and the last of the terrestrial planets, which means it has a solid surface you could walk on. A day on Mars is around 24.5 hours, which is very similar to Earth's, and it takes 687 days to go around the Sun, which is nearly double the time of Earth. The temperature ranges on Mars from 20 Celsius to about minus 153 Celsius, 
This is because Mars has a thin atmosphere. Mars also has two moons. And Mars has the tallest mountain in the solar system, called Olympus Mons. And here is our finished Mars. Jupiter is the fifth planet in our solar system that we're going to paint and it has a rotation or a day of just under 10 hours and it takes 12 years to go around the sun one time. Jupiter has an average temperature of minus 110 celsius and it also has 95 official moons. Jupiter is also the largest planet in our solar system and it's famous for its giant red spot which is thought to be two times the size of our home planet Earth, believed to be a storm. It is also the first of the Jovian planets, meaning there is no solid surface you could walk on. And here is our finished Jupiter. The next planet we're going to paint is Saturn, and Saturn is the sixth planet in our solar system. It has a rotation or a day length of 10 and a half hours and it takes 29 Earth years to go around the Sun one time. It has an average temperature of minus 140 Celsius, and it also has the most moons in our entire solar system. It now has 274 confirmed moons since 2025. Saturn is also famous for its giant rings. All the Jovian planets have rings, however Saturn's is the most obvious from Earth, and it's the largest ring system. And here is our finished Saturn. The next planet we're going to paint is Uranus. And Uranus is the seventh planet in the solar system. It has a day length of just over 17 hours. And it takes 84 Earth years to go around the sun one time. It has an average temperature of minus 195. However, it is classified as the coldest planet because of the record-breaking temperature ever recorded at minus 224.2 Celsius. It also has 28 official moons. Uranus was the first planet found with a telescope. It also rotates backwards like Venus, but also on its side, believed to be from a collision millions of years ago. And here is our finished Uranus. And the last planet we're painting today is Neptune and it is the eighth planet in our solar system. It has a day length or a rotation length of approximately 16 hours and it takes 165 Earth years to orbit the Sun one time. It has an average temperature of minus 214 Celsius. It has 16 known moons. It is also the windiest planet in our solar system with wind speeds up to 1200 miles per hour. And here is our finished Neptune. Here is our finished solar system. We have our completed and painted sun and the rest of the eight planets. So next we're going to put them into their stands. So of course first we have the sun which all of the planets orbit around. Then the first planet of the solar system, Mercury. Then the second planet of the solar system, Venus, then the third planet, which is our planet, Earth, then the fourth planet in the solar system is Mars, then the fifth planet and the biggest planet is Jupiter, then here comes the sixth planet with its big rings, which is Saturn, the seventh planet in the solar system is Uranus, which is on its side, and the eighth and last official planet in our solar system is Neptune. And here's our complete wooden solar system. And that was the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning all about space and the solar system with us today. Hope to see you again next time. Bye bye. Hello, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Bye bye.